Hello YouTube people, friends and subscribers. Um I'm just making a deck versus deck video. Like um I'm gonna go to the, the regionals qualifications thing majig. And um I'm having a really hard decision on which deck to take. So I'm gonna do uh, both of these decks on one video and um tell me what deck you think would be better to take to the qualifications thing majig. So um yeah, here we go. This is a um, a lockdown deck. It's more controlled than it is, uh, like swarm and um, like stuff like that. You know, it's um, a little out of the ordinary. So it's uh, three last words from another planet and one um, absolute zero. It works really well. We all know what absolute zero does. Some people don't know what last word does. It's um, kind of like Archlord Christia. Um, nobody could special summon monsters. Nobody could normal summon monsters. Um, all you're allowed to do is uh, is set monsters face down. But yeah, I'll tell you I'll tell you more about that later. And um, that's a, that's about all his effect is. And yeah, oh he destroys uh, your side of the field like the monsters on your side of the field. So he's got a drawback, but um, it's not always a bad thing in the deck, all right? All right. Um, so here's uh, the deck list: three Zombras. These are the fusion material monsters for him. And this is three of these guys. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's also the fusion material monster to form him. Alright. King of the Swamp. He could be treated as a fusion material. It's just one of them though. And and uh, if you already have them, you could ditch him to get a polymerization. So the deck is pretty, like, it's pretty good with uh, doing that. Getting the polymerization out. So. I got a little stuck over here. Um, Mother Grizzly brings out a water monster, which could be King of the Swamp or uh, this this guy. Yeah, yeah just one. Um, Stratos, just to get a pris prisma out, because yeah, he could dump one of the two. And if he dumps the water monster, I could easily go for absolute zero. Yeah. And uh, Summoner Monk to bring out. Uh, abs um, this guy, or maybe this guy, mostly. Or if I want, I could bring out this guy. Yeah, so it's pre he's pretty uh, versatile in the deck. Alright, um... Gores, we all know. Gores, it's just stop both TKs and stuff. But sometimes he doesn't work too great, because I'm using uh, some trap cards. Battle Fader? Uh, he works perfect in the deck. I wish I had more, but I only have this one, so... That's why I have Gores. So Gores is uh, basically a replacement for Battle Fader. If I had another one, that would be great. Um, this guy's awesome. You could summon him, tribute him, and then destroy all monsters with uh, a thousand or less defense. But if you tribute another rock monster, you could destroy like whatever their attack is. It's, so it's pretty good. But I just use one. Look, instead of using a uh, lightning vortex, losing cards in my hand and stuff. Same thing with um, absolute zero. That's the only reason he's in the deck. Man, dude, I have an ugly glare in the deck. In the I mold just in case I I don't have my guy out yet and just. Whatever. Also, we could replace it with Battle Fader and s same thing with uh, Morphine Jar. But I kind of like Morphine Jar in the deck. But, anyways, um, Morphine Jar. We don't know what he does. Future Fusion, Parlamization, Parlamization, Parlamization. Miracle Fusion just for the absolute zero. Lightning Vortex. Two gold sarcophaguses. Make the deck a little faster, even though it's kind of slow. Um, reinforcements of the army lets me get a Stratos or no, not that guy. This guy is Umbria. He's also a warrior, so it's pretty versatile in the deck. Yeah. Swords are really light for those to slow down those guys. They're pretty fast, or just in case I get it first turn, just drop it and just for fun. Um, heavy Storm, Cold Wave, and let me get this clear out. All right, uh, Giant Tree Nade. Just to get uh, you know, all those back cards out of the way, and this is the combo right here. This is this is what you want on the field, is this guy and Light of Innovation, and then they're not allowed to put any monsters on the field. And, well, neither are you, but you have your Last Warrior in it. It completely locks down um, like most Black Wings and Light Swarm decks. They're they're pretty much useless and uh, zombies too. But that's that's the reason I'm taking the deck because this combo it it works really well against them. All right.
and because um, they're not allowed any monsters, and they usually don't have much um, spell and trap card support. So yeah, three of them. All right, um, soul, soul and judgment. You know, anything they ha anything that happens, I could uh, negate it. Uh, divine wrath for those monsters, just get in the way. Uh, mirror force, just in case. This is all early game and dental tribute. Uh, just in case they kill my main guy, bring him out, trap, dust, shoot. Cause our hands are usually pretty good size, so whatever. All right, so that's that deck, and uh, let's go to this deck. And this is a uh, uh, Stratos, but this is a uh, uh, it's another lockdown deck. I like more of a control deck, anyways. So that's kind of what I have here. This is a uh, Samorg, Dark Samorg. So okay, um, Stratos, two Diamond dudes, cause there's like a whole bunch of spells and traps. A uh, spells in here that he could hit like a ridiculous amount. All right, um, and I have my own tech in it too. So two Diamond dudes. Uh, one, Destiny Hero Dasher. He's in here because he's an 8-star. He's a dark monster, and he's a Destiny Hero. So you could hit him with all three of your um, dudes. So he's it's not even playable or anything, but he's just in there because I don't have another uh, Plasma. So so it's Plasma. They're all th they're three hits. All right, and Dark Dumb Dragon. Dark Samorg. Dark Samorg and Dark Samorg. Main cards in the deck. Uh... Guardian of Yados, Arthur Christia, Arthur Christia, and Dark Sam and Dark Samorg on the field is actually pretty vicious, so that you know. And uh, yeah, I only have Arthur Christia in here because I don't have another Guardian of Yados because I need that wind. So yeah, oh well. Yeah, this deck's not like super complete. It's just missing two cards, but oh well. Um, Miss Valley Soldier, I would take it out for the Guardian the because it's a wind. So Guardian of Yados. Whatever. Alright, um... Plague Spider is awesome in the deck because you can put a spell card on top of the deck and hit it with your diamond dude. And then Synchro with your diamond dude to get, like, something out. This is my own little tech I put in here. It's like, uh, my Flameville engine. Works pretty good sometimes. Uh, other times it's not too great. But, uh, this deck was really lacking, uh, the normal summoning monsters. They had some good beat sticks. So, this guy works really great. Yeah. Alright, uh, I love opening with this guy, because then they don't know, they don't know what deck I'm playing. Anyways, three, Flame Veil Dogs, Flame Veil Fire Dogs, two, um, Flame Veil Magicians. Yeah, he's, he, I run him at two because when you use, a uh, Rekindling, he just, you can't bring out three anyways, so, yeah, I just run two, and then he comes out really easy with the Flame Veil Dog. Alright, um, three D draws, two lures. Three trade-ins. This is all draw power. Uh, uh, card discursion. And three uh, rekindlings. Could also, I, I wanted to try it because uh, you could hit them with Diamond Dude. And it's really fun. Cause next turn you just swarm like crazy. And even if you're like down in the dumps, you could rekindle them and you're up again. Three rekindlings. Uh, giant Trunade. Lightning Vortex. And three anti spell fragrances to combo uh, combo with a uh, dark samorg. And call the haunted. Mirror force. And torrential tribute is my last card. And uh, I have normal synchros, so yeah, I have a two star and a six star. I mean a two star and a and a four star tuner in this deck. So yeah. All right. So um, comment on the on this video. And tell me which deck you think would do better. Last Warrior Lockdown or Dark Samorg Lockdown. They both work really well. Um, I think Dark Samorg locks down more of the field. But this guy has more control over like uh, the main decks right now. So yeah, so please let me know what you guys think. Or help me out with the side deck. Alright, laters.